one, I'm Alpha. Welcome back to 300 Second Crap. Wait, fuck. Sorry, I was... Look, I'm having a weird day. Um, my wife's out of the house at work. She's like, can you go get the packages from the office? I'm like, sure, honey. And there's an office chair on my doorstop. Like, in a box. It's not like a complete office chair. And we were talking about buying an office chair. But apparently we didn't buy it. After our discussion about getting me a new office chair or a gamer chair or some such, so I can have an easier time recording, a chair just came to my house, to my apartment, mistakenly delivered because our name is not on it and the wrong street is on it. <laughs> um, and our apartment number is that guy's street number, which is, I guess, the mistake, but yeah, it's weird. None of us intended to get a office chair like this, so. I mean, if it were up to me, I would keep it. But mostly because I just, uh... <laughs> mostly because I want to... Oh, fuck, how do I put this? I would take it as a sign from God, you know? Like, oh, hey, I wanted an office chair. Someone... It, someone Gave me a chair by mistake. I'll take it, you know? Anyway, enough of that. Last time we did Amzia's thing. This time we'll do Kirava. I'll go with Surava, actually. Her mod. Potential new friend approaches. And they look almost as messed up as you are. Okay. I don't even know what to do with this voice. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> you an alien? You nod enthusiastically. You hope your prospective new friend is comfortable with extraterrestrials. Things could get awkward otherwise. You should really, like, not be outside. <laughs> Freaks like you get picked up by drones in a hot second. No offense. <laughs> you don't like the sound of being picked up by drones. That would really inhibit your companionship plans. I like his horn pattern. Or possibly her horn pattern. I like their horn pattern. The way that it matches with this thing. That's cool. It's clever. And then, um... The big fangs that they have here match with the, the bottom-most horn, I guess. Clever. Uh, I want to know what's up with this. Um, yellow bloods like these people typically have uh, pretty good telekinetic powers. Um, Solix in uh, the comic is able to levitate a whole bunch of stuff with his brain. Hey, so explain to this strange one-eyed troll that you crash land on this planet are in desperate need of friendship. Your plight seems to move them. Oh yeah, Solux also had weird eyes. Instead of um, having the yellow eyes like most trolls did, he had one red eye and one blue eye, like 3D glasses. And this troll appears to be missing an eye or be covering this one up and have a green eye. Uh, and this color matches their wristband. Well, shit. If you don't really have anywhere to be, I promised myself I wouldn't do anything cold risky. What the hell? <laughs> Come with me. Name's Kurava, by the way. Follow Kurava down a twisting stretch road. Wow, this is going great already. You bet you have a new friend in no time. Ooh. All right, here's my hive. Okay. Possibly a literal hive on the ceiling here, um, but Solix kept bees, so that actually makes sense. They appear to be... Stri oh my god. That's lo-fi beats to study to, but with trolls on the computer there. That's what they're watching. <laughs> they're watching lo-fi beats to study to. <laughs> and they have a vaporwave poster. <laughs> and a bong. <laughs> Some cool. <sighs> you can hide out here for now. I got a lot of followers that are pretty into aliens. They might get a kick out of this. <laughs> Look out of Karava's hive at awe. They sure seem to have a batshit crazy taste in home decor. Checking out my aesthetic? Oh yeah, that's the aesthetic. I work pretty hard putting this place together. It's all about the looks in the background when you're streaming. <laughs> don't, my, don't want my fans to think I live in a fucking duh and spend most of my days depressed and crying. <laughs> you like moisture wipe? <laughs> God, Moisture Wave is so good. I already love it. I don't care what it is. Whatever the answer, whatever the question was, yes. Oh yeah, I love it. You have no idea what Moisture Wave is, but you don't want to find your new friend. You tell him you love it. Word. I'm actually streaming some chill beats of Zeusik. Yeah, there it is. 
chill anime beats to fucking vibe to. <laughs> Check it. <laughs> they gesture towards their strangely bulbous alien computer. On their screen is a GrubTube channel. Lo-fi aesthetic incubated beats. Sorry, I just, I just spaced out for a second just thinking about the weirdness of this. Like, so far, I've been forced at psychic knife point to put together an Ikea table. I laid in a tramp style, ate a hot dog with someone and killed him. And uh, I'm currently the bag that someone milks whenever they want crimson paint in another universe. Wow, they have a lot of subscribers. You asked them if they drew that very nice anime girl they're using as the splash art. Nah, I just ripped off some Eastern alternate move and recolored it to look like me. No. Oh. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> you nod vigorously. That is very impressive. Yeah, I'm kind of a big fucking deal online. You know, we've met at least... We've met at least two of these people who are streamers. Kind of wild. I built up my own streaming empire. Worked my ass off. <laughs> Nurse these beats to health from some tragically ill sample loops. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's not fun in games, though. Life of a popular online guy. Can't even imagine the hardships I've gone through. On the name of lo-fi chill hop aesthetic moisture wave beats. That shit keeps me up at night. Carava looks in the distance pensively, their one eye filled with a pointed emotion. You never knew the life of a streamer could be so vaguely filled with torment. You're moved to cry a single tear. Yeah, you get it. You really vibing on my emotional frequency, my dude. You know you gotta suffer for popularity! You nod enthusiastically. You don't think you've ever been particularly popular, hey, no kidding, but you're really good at suffering. This is going great. <sighs> I wish I could say more. Really get all emotional and vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable and share my tragic backstory, but ever since the incident, it's been so hard to trust new people. <laughs> you feel me? The incident? This is so tantalizing. It is tantalizing. I'm drawn in. You just know that if you're going to want to make a new friend, you're going to have to get them to confess their deepest insecurities and embarrassing secrets to you. That is how friendship works. You place a sympathetic hand on Karava's shoulder. You know what, dude? You really want to be friends? Yes. Yes. You can't believe how pain-free and easy this experience has been. What a wonderful new friend you're about to make. You can practically feel the future bro embraces you two will surely share. They feel good. They feel right. Haha, <laughs> you sure are eager. But like, if we're going to be friends, you have got to look on your work. Work on your look. Your aesthetic is basically hot garbage right now. <laughs> My followers can't see me hanging out with a fucking rando like this. I'm sure you understand. You weren't quite sure you follow. What's wrong with your look? Thought you had a simplistic charm. Face you could put on a logo. Oh yeah, so the the character we're canonically playing as is called the MSPCA Reader. MSPA Reader, sorry. Um, it's just the the nameless, almost faceless, a racial blob that Hussey puts on whenever he needs someone to like be a audience surrogate more so than anyone else. And the face is the logo of What Pumpkin, which is the company that Hussey owns and now makes this. Uh, you're not sure you, if you're ready to change up the tried and true classics for this newfangled teen, but you're so thirsty for Karava's sweet friendship nectar. You need to taste it. You have to taste it. With a friend like them, you could go places. You could be someone. You could finally be down with the hip youth of today. <laughs> you tell Karava you're willing to try anything to get into the esteem ranks of their friend list. Well, damn. Hold up. Got an idea. <laughs> Follow me. Karava leads you into the winding stairs of their hive. Lining the walls are different pictures of Karava in strange poses in different locations. Surrounded by a few trolls you don't recognize in a similarly serious fashion. So fellow members of the Moisture Wave community. Uh, I really gotta take this shit down. They're all dead to me. <laughs> you wanna ask if they mean that literally. You never know with trolls. But you keep your mouth shut. Best not to offend the new friend. Let's just move on and never speak of this again. Yeah. Oh yeah, these things. The little blob things in the background here. This is what they sleep on. They, they sleep in these like little grub tubes. Oh, his his symbol's also a fucking uh, a hashtag because he's trendy, Lamau. Um, appears to be Troll Naruto in the background here. Uh, he um, Hussey, rather, I said he without thinking, but Andrew Hussey, the author of Homestuck and the original creator of all this shit, would just recolor uh, Earth actors and shit as gray and then Photoshop horns onto them. And then put those as posters in, like, the universe. 
So like, there's literally a troll Will Smith in, in the Homestuck universe. And it's just a gray Will Smith with horns. Anyway. Kurava leads you into a fairly large loft bedroom. Ooh, I like lofts. This room is a bit less ostentatious than the streaming area downstairs. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome to my respite block. Bedroom. We're gonna get you hooked up. <laughs> if you're gonna be a new friend, you gotta look the part. For streams and stuff, you know? Gonna make you a chitter account too. That's cute. Good for my image to have friends. <laughs> Pekin's been ever, pretty slim ever since the incident. On that ominous note, Grover presses a button on the wall and a large door opens to reveal an expansive walk-in closet with couple, colorful accessories and clothes. It looks like a regular batshit neon shirt apocalypse. Well, I'm at it. Unless you want me to help you pick out a look. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll pick out my own look. You like Caravano? You're perfectly comfortable with picking out your own look. You think you can figure out this fashion business easy enough? What could possibly go wrong? This is a child's play. Yeah, man. Fashion is just all about, like, what you're feeling. And also, it's trending, but, you know. We're the ones that start the trends. You strike me as a real influencer. <laughs> go for it, my dude. You enter the closet tentatively. As soon as Krav is out of sight, your stupid ego deflates like a farting balloon. You don't know the first thing about the hip youth alien fashion of today. It's gonna be an absolute shit show, you reckon? You are fully prepared to make an utter fool of yourself. Oh, well, might as well get started. Pick a few random accessories off the shelves at random. Bright pink hat? Sure. You tilt it jauntily to the side. You're pretty sure that's cool. Sunglasses? Definitely. That's a no-brainer. No cool guy would be caught dead without a sweet pair of shades. You select the most ostentatious pair available. You can get in the hang of this moisture wave aesthetic. You just have to look like the biggest tool possible. <laughs> Several accessories later. <laughs> wow, radical, neato. <laughs> look at this fucking trash. <laughs> oh. My. Fuck. That shit is transcendent. Wow. You got me speechless. Just damn. Look at you. It's like you're a whole new guy. A much chiller and cooler guy who I gotta be friends with now immediately. All we gotta do is debut you to my hundreds and thousands of followers. Haha. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking great. Let's take some selfies. You heard a soaring, you did it. You really did it. You're down with the kids, and now Krava wants to take the coveted selfies with you. This night couldn't be going any better. You make it look like a complete asshole, but if I'm going to be popular with a bunch of alien teenagers, then an asshole you will be. Selling out is amazing. Hussy signing up for what pumpkin to Viz Media? Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here, we gotta take some fees. Pose a Krava for several selfies. They put your arm around you in a gesture of newly formed friendship. You are beaming with friend pride. Oh, hell yeah. He's a turning out great. Damn. You're killing it. All I gotta do now is post them. Krava fills around with her phone for a while. You're so nervous, you never been internet famous before. You hope the new family will change it too much. Or maybe you hope it will change you. Change you into someone with a ton of friends. And the likes are rolling in. Oh, yes. I live for the shit. Ha, this is one guy asking if you want any of your quadrants filled. Ooh. Oh, and this girl loves your shades. Damn, a lot of people asking if you're single. Ha, ha. Don't go for it, though. My followers are fucking freaks, dude. You aren't sure what filling a quadrant is. It sounds like some kind of fucked up alien ritual, but if it's anything like friendship, you're all for it. Welcome to my twisted internet fame. <laughs> Let's chill out and listen to some beats. You vape? I got a pretty juicy rig downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, you're sitting on Krava's couch watching them finagle with a horrifyingly valid vape rig that appears to be made out of some sort of living larva you don't want to know. Krava places their mouth on what surely must be a bug anus and inhales deeply. The rig makes an awful high-pitched rattling noise. You think you're going to vomit. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Here you go, dude. You take the trembling insect into your hands. Well, here goes your final hurdle into eternal friendship and popularity. You vape vigorously, inhaling as much as you can. The vapor fills your lungs immediately. It burns a lot. You realize you're not quite sure if this alien vape juice is compatible with your anatomy. You could have inhaled a bug ass full of poison like a fucking idiot. What a way to die. Your vision swims. Yeah, you got it. Just hold it in. <laughs> Tears stream down your face as you hold in your double lung full of insect gas. You are glad to have on a pair of ghoul shades or you would never be able to live the embarrassment down. You're not sure how long you're supposed to do this, as long as it takes. Uh, you can exhale now. You cough and sputter. Green 
vapor spewing from your mouth straight into Karava's face. You did it. You lived. Ha 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 Oh man, that was sick. Your head feels light and woozy and you giggle. Ha ha, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah. Two of you kick back and relax on the couch and you stare up at the ceiling. Well, what did that huge wasp nest get up there? Ha <laughs> ha, crazy man. Oh, it is a nest. I guess it does look more like paper and pulp than a hive. Uh, it makes sense that all the, the yellow blue... Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, so because Homestuck is... Um, a lot of it is actually made out of, like, essentially sampling from other pictures, like stock footage and stuff. Oh, we got a horse. Uh, originally, the Daedric script from the Elder Scrolls rotated 90 degrees was what the troll language looked like. But obviously you can't put that in a book. But Viz Media is now doing that. So now, coming along here soon, we should see the new troll language, which I actually don't know. Yep, there it is. It still looks the same. It looks uh, uh, thematically similar, at least. Anyway. Krava's music certainly sounds a lot more interesting. Dude. Today has been way chiller than I ever expected. <laughs> you officially my best friend for life. Just promise me you'll never betray me. <laughs> you promise. This is incredible. You love your new friend. You watch as they effortlessly take another huge rip from their vape rig. I've been burned in the past. <laughs> it's not easy being popular online. Especially as a low blood. Yeah, because he's yellow, he's um, technically the lowest of... No, he's the highest of the low bloods, but he's still not even a mid blood. Uh, the midbloods are the greens and blues, and then above that is the indigos and purples. But the bottom tier is red and orange, and then yellow, so he's at the top. I used to be such a fucking big shot. Got into sassy fights with high bloods on chitter. Always had some shit to say, haha. <laughs> then shit got out of control. I'm a psionic, so bitches started reporting me as way more powerful as I really am. <laughs> Trying to get me enslaved and shit so I couldn't keep up with my streams. It's all jealousy, you know. Yeah, the yellow bloods are all psionic, it's crazy. Also, a lot of them have, like, eye beams. My stupid best friends all turned on me so they wouldn't be targeted next. <laughs> so I took matters in my own hands. Gouged out my eye. It was sick as fuck. Can't use me as a battery, bitch. Um, yeah, the, uh, there's a... There's a yellow blood like him called the Helmsman. Who, uh, I think, I think he's called the Helmsman. He has multiple names. But the Helmsman is the guy who runs the Empress's ship. Her imperious condescension, that is. Um, he runs her ship. He's the engine. He's using his psionic powers to basically throw it with his brain faster than any engine could. And they're traveling at near light speed because of that. I still got a big following, but I don't really talk online anymore. <laughs> Better just... Oh, fuck. Actually, learn this, though. The fuck? My mouse. Nope, never mind. It's good. Check it out. History. Yeah. Better stay on the radar and not piss people off. Just be chill. And if I don't get close to my followers, they can't try to use me. Of course, that means I no longer have any goddamn friends. <laughs> well, until you. You're truly moved. What a special bond you have formed with your new friend. To have them open up to you about their darkest secrets is the most significant and transcendent moment you've ever experienced. The two of you share a beautiful and tender bro embrace. <gasps> the likes of which will never be replicated in this known universe for all time forever. Probably. You really don't know. You're high as fuck right now. Yeah! I did it! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, this is great. This is awesome. I love how shitty this art is. I love I love that you can count the fucking pixels. Ah, oh, I did it. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I, I mentioned that I went back and did this. I don't know why I have these. Yeah, fuck yeah, this is great. Wow. That was a really good one. That might be my new favorite. Because you're crazy. Oh, but you're so hot, though. And you're weird, but, like, I dig it. And you're fucking weird and crazy, but you're cool. I dig that. Next up, orange blood and green blood. Okay. This... Actually, you know what? I can get into that. I can get into that later. Oh, man, I'm so fucking juiced to play this game. 
I don't care if Homestuck is lame. I know that it is. Everyone knows that Homestuck is lame. I don't care. It's fun. I'm having fun. Go to hell. Who the hell are you people? I'm enjoying my life. Yeah. Anyway, I've been Alfred. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> Thank you.